In the year 3010 of the Third Age, Rohan, Kingdom of Theoden, son of Thengel, and home to the Horse Lords of the Riddermark, found itself in the grip of evil. Isengard had been unleashed. Its Uruk pits had been emptied, its hordes amassing to the south of Orthanc. Wild men from Dunland, having recently declared their allegiance to the White Hand, were raiding and pillaging across the Westfold, unchecked and unchallenged. And all the while, King Theoden had been deceived, his mind led astray by the sorcery of Saruman. Rohan was weak. Yet hope remained for the Rohirrim, as Eomer, son of Eomund, and nephew to the king, remained untainted and loyal to the crown. He and his riders proved to be an effective fighting force, and possibly all that stood between Rohan's survival or its downfall. Welcome my friends to a brand new campaign of Third Age Total War on the channel and we are going to be playing as the Kingdom of Rohan. If you hadn't already guessed by A the thumbnail, B the cinematic intro and C the narrative intro. So you've got three, three different clues there to tell you that we are going to be playing as the Kingdom of Rohan. So why am I playing as the Kingdom of Rohan? Well, in the last several campaigns that we played on the channel, Rohan gets steamrolled and it's basically scripted that they are going to get steamrolled by both Isengard in the earlier stages and then Mordor later on as well, if they're somehow still alive. So I felt that that was a little bit of a unfair outcome every time for Kingdom of Rohan. They are quite a decent faction if used correctly and I'm hoping to prove that with this campaign. So I feel like a little bit of a player's input might help them survive a little bit longer. So that is why we're going to be playing as the Kingdom of Rohan and I haven't played Rohan since like version 3.0 of the original Third Age mod. So it has been quite a few years since I've played as them and I would like to play with them so that'd be good. Uh, we are playing on the AGO submod for Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer. Uh, but we are also playing with the SUS submod for the AGO as well. So there's going to be some slight changes there. And the reason why we're playing with these mods is because in the poll that I released a few weeks back, um, nearly 700 of you voted, so thank you very much for that, and you voted in favour of AGO carrying on. But I felt like maybe we'd do something slightly different and we would add SUS on there as well. Now I have done a couple of test runs of this just to make sure that it works because I had to do a whole fresh copy of Third Age and Divide and Conquer and AGO and SUS and thankfully everything works. I've done several test runs to make sure it wasn't a fluke and things like that and one thing I've noticed in the first few turns of this campaign is that Isengard doesn't attack outright so from the straight from the get-go we might have a chance to survive possibly uh, but we will see if this uh, ends up being a completely different outcome for this campaign. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be playing on difficulties of very hard for the campaign and very hard for the battle, no battle time limit, and we are playing the short campaign rules as well. So we're going to have a small objective to complete for this campaign, hopefully we will make it, and then from then onwards we will set our own objectives for as long as we want to carry on with the campaign. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this, and I hope you guys are ready to start as Rohan. So without further ado, let's get started. So welcome to the campaign for the first episode of the Rohan series. So we are going to be going to be enabling the hardcore mode. We've been playing with hardcore on the Mirkwood series and it's been quite fun having to play almost every battle. So it's quite interesting. So we're going to be sticking with that and a little bit of an extra challenge on top of the already challenging campaign. So this is the welcome message for Divide and Conquer that we get every single time. So if you want to read through any of the information, please make sure to pause the video so you can have a little read through. Uh, likewise, this is an introductory text for the Kingdom of Rohan. Hopefully you guys like it. If you read through it, don't forget to pause the video just to have a little read through any of this information as well. It's a bit of a sort of like historical background for the country, so that's good. Glittering Caves. So... 
This is a little side quest, if you want to call it that. Um, basically, the Hornburg obviously has the Glittering Caves located behind it. If we can get an alliance with the Dwarves of the Blue Mountains, also known as Eriot Lewin, or if we get an alliance with the Dwarves of the Iron Hills, also called Erebor, then we get the ability to recruit a Dwarven infantry unit. So it's nothing substantial, this little script, but it does give us a little extra unit which could be quite handy as well. So hopefully we will get that done as soon as possible. I'll probably go to Erebor. I feel like they're going to be closer. And then finally, King Theoden deceived. So in my little narrative introduction, I talked about how Theoden had been deceived and how his mind had been led astray by Saruman. Um, so that's basically what this script is. Um, essentially what happened is for 10 turns, he is not able to move yes, any no further more. than one tile as long as, he is, as long as he is on a road. So in other words, he has been neutralized for the first 10 turns of this campaign. So we're just going to be leaving him at Edoras for a little while. Speaking of the narrative, I hope you guys liked that little narrative introduction. What I wanted to do was to give you guys like a 30-35 second cinematic intro for the start of every video. And then to um, do follow that on with like a narrative, like a, almost like a history documentary style is what I'm going for for this series. And that's hopefully not going to take the whole introduction from start to finish no more than a minute, minute and a half. That is what I'm aiming for. It might go a little bit longer, but I'm aiming for about a minute to a minute and a half. Um, so I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys are looking forward to inputs for every single video. So that's something new that I'm going to try. I did try and do that with the Total War Rome 2 series. It just ended up being too much work at that time for me. I was doing about three different playthroughs at the same time. It was just taking too long. But now that I'm doing one or two, hopefully I have a little bit more free time to uh, give you guys a bit more of an interesting feel for this campaign. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of fog of war. So my first target is going to be to Lord, lighten up my Lord. our country. So let's um, this tower will keep vigil over the build land. some towers. Yes. Standard Saffir's tactic. With honor, this tower will keep vigil are. over the land. Yes, Put one Lord. down here. This tower will Put keep one... vigil over the land. Oh, just yes. in range of enterprise. Excellent. So we'll put this one there. Tower will keep vigil over the lands. Hammer, he has um, some Meduseld spear units. The enemy. Erecting a watchtower. Uh, I think he's Meduseld. Yes, Meduseld door wards. That's what they're called. So that's quite a good. Nice little as custom unit for him. Erecting a watchtower. Theodred, I don't think he has a custom unit. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. No, he just has Rohan bodyguards. With honor. This tower will be vigil over the land. Now, Erkenbrand is a unit of Hemlingas, so he's an archer bodyguard. And then yes, Gambling is this some Riddermark, Riddermark Axemen, so two handed axes. Yes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this tower will keep vigil over the land. Isengard doesn't seem to Your attack Lord, us straight away. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be spending the time bolstering the defences of Falberg with, with some extra units. Uh, we have some non-free upkeep well, units, which I'm going to move across wish. as well in this direction oh, yes. to try and bolster Falberg. Because even though Isengard might not attack us, the Dunundings surely will. So that is what we're aiming to sort of to counter you know, the Dunland clans. Let's have a little, a little look at uh, the map without... The fog of war on. Oh, did it not work? Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, there we go. Must have typed it wrong. So, Isengard has Fangorn. They have, obviously, Isengard. Massive amount of troops in there, so we're already in a disadvantage here. Dunland clans. They have Isenrun, Bregnas, and Dunyard. So they... Oh, and Dunlaric and Byrig. So they actually have quite a lot. Uh, oh, Tharbad is unoccupied straight from the beginning. Interesting. I'm hoping... Enidwaith is only at war with the Independent Realms. Maybe, hopefully, they'll go to war with Dunland as well. But uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Gondor, massive territory for Gondor. Uh, yeah, so we want to be taking... Oh, Edra Khan is rebel already. I forgot that they start rebel. I Somehow I had in my head that they were elven. But they are actually rebel. 
So what we want to be doing is we want to be getting a diplomat and an extra spy. So let's just get those while we're looking at it. We're going to get diplomacy sorted up here towards the north. We're going to speak to the elves of Lorien first. Then we'll move up to the Vale. We'll move across to Mirkwood. And then we'll go up to Dale and Erebor. And I'm hoping to get an alliance with Erebor at least. And then we can get that extra dwarven unit from the Hornburg. But we want to be taking Rockburg and Tirith Anduin. Don't know what their garrisons are, but we want to be taking both of these because if Isengard aren't going to attack us, we want to take the opportunity to expand. So I'm going to be using Eomer to take both of these. Uh, let's turn off the Fog of War. So we have a couple of extra units of cavalry here. Yes, my lord. Yes. Um, now, I want to do this a slightly different way. Because this is going to be a huge amount of cavalry to try and maintain. So I'm actually going to attack outright with those three. I might... Yes, my lord. No. And then I'm going to put Eomer to the side. And I'm going to let the rebels attack my horse archers. And then I can just look after three horse archer units. And I'll look after Eomer and his melee cavalry when they arrive as reinforcements. So that's my plan. We'll see how well that works out. Um, but apart from that, that's okay. That's all done. Right, Spy, you're going to move up to towards Tirith Andwin for us. And the new one's going to head over this way to Isengard and Dunland. So now we are down to 7,420. We need to look at structures. And I want to be looking at the economy. So that is quite a nice little trade boost. We're going to go with that. Um... Edoras, what does it look like for you? 65 increase. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that as well. Hornburg, now we could go for mines, but I kind of feel like I want to get them a little bit cheaper. So we're going to go for a Mason's Hall. We want to be expanding Mason's Halls quite a lot across the whole country, but in these early stages, it's not a massive problem. 131, so that's 22 increase, whereas the farmland is 95. So we're going to go with farmland. So that leaves us with three and a half. And then Ginyard, I kind of want to link you with all these other provinces. So Foldberg, Hornburg, Edoras, they all have roads, but you don't. You're like the one link between the three places that doesn't have roads. So we're going to build the dirt paths there just to get all four linked together. Nice, easy route for reinforcements. Um, if Foldberg gets attacked, we've got some Rohirrim that we can move up to Foldberg, as well as the ones we've just recruited into the town as well. So... That's all nice and dandy. So we have 1820 on hand now. I think I will leave things as they are. I don't want to drain my economy too quickly just because we do have a lot of troops that are free upkeep and in the field. So I want to see what the impact on the economy is going to be. So 1820 is a nice little buffer. We've got five structures being built right now. The other two can hold off for the moment. So I think that is everything for this to first turn. So let's flip and we'll see if the rebels attack and if Isengard does anything. Okay, any attack whatsoever? No. Nothing from Isengard. So that's a good start, at least. <laughs> so we're not at war with Isengard for now. Good. Now, it doesn't mean that Isengard aren't going to attack us anytime soon, but it means we do have a little bit of time, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, here we go. So we don't want Aemir to be controlled by the AI. We have three units of horse archers against three wargs, two raiders, and a slayer. All right, let's go. The troops are assembled. Prepare for Await my all Okay. Reinforcements are coming in from the left. Excellent stuff. There we are. Oh, whoops. Right, so horse archers, let's just run you forward a little bit. Get you all in range to do some shooting. 
Oh, turn around. It looked like they were moving for a second there. So just waiting on our reinforcements to pop into the map. Shoot down as many of them as you can. start moving they're probably going to move in a second so i want to get i want to get ahead of them all right and group two there we go right so all of our reinforcements have arrived we're going to bring our melee cavalry out, cavalry out and because our reinforcements have come in now i'm hoping that this is going to be a nice distraction for some of isengard's force uh, sorry the rebels forces See, I'm already eager to fight Isengard. I'm thinking that Rebels are Isengard. It looks like... Oh, the Wargs are going to come this way a little bit. Okay, well, let's spread out. Here come some Marauders. Get our archers to focus on this one unit at the front. have to keep an eye on the minimap as best we can as well. Alright, keep moving around. Just stay away from the WAG unit. Alright, I'm going to be doing a lot of pausing because I want to make sure I don't screw things up. So let's send... Let's send Aemir and his cavalry on a wild goose... Well, let's get the Wargs to chase him on a wild goose chase. We'll send Aemir off in the direction. Just keep the forces distracted for now. All we need to do is make sure that our units are always moving. Because as you've noticed, or you might have noticed, that there's a little bit of a delay when it comes to cavalry actually obeying a command in this game. But if I have all three of my cavalry shooting this one Warg... This isn't the captain, unfortunately. Just noticed in the nick of time that they had stalled. <laughs> Get down to 40. Alright. Cavalry, how are you doing? You being chased? Yep, yeah, you've still got the wags on your tail, but they're still a little they're a ways off, so. Let's head over in this direction now. Keep moving. Oh, they're turning around. Stay out of the way. There we go. We got anything else coming this way? We got raiders coming this way. Keep targeting that wag. We're down to eleven. The raiders are coming over here as well. So I'd like to take care of the other wags if possible. Oh, we're down to seven. What oh, we got stuck in the town centre? Oh, raiders again. Still got some raiders down there. Okay. All right, let's try and finish this wag off. How are you guys doing over here? How close are they now? Uh, they're gaining 71 still over here. All right, we need to get you moving in this direction. Chase this wag down over here. Try and kill it off. Turn around. Because they're coming back towards you. Now 
down to three. Two. Those raiders are coming up behind us. Right, let's get our horse archers over this side now. Two wargs isn't going to be a problem. Oh. Come on, keep moving. Alright, so. We've pretty much neutralised one warg unit already. So that's 20%. That's good. We've got one more incoming against our cavalry over here. Tell them to go all the way up there. Horse archers come over here. And you're going to start shooting this warg, I hope. Help oh, the wargs are, in fact, coming towards my horse archers now. Well, we could try and split our melee units up now. Try and go after their infantry. Shooting that one wag right at the front. Oh, he's down. <laughs> very brave, but very foolish. Make sure you keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, now we're getting some kills. There's the captain as well. Alright, let's just check. Let's make sure everything else is okay. Group 2, you are over here. You are going to go after these slayers here. Where's that other WAG unit? There was a group of 30 that was just here a second ago. Uh, raiders. Raiders. Oh, they are, they're on the move. Okay. They're spreading out a little bit. Bring you down the hill. Turn around a little bit. Head in that direction. Keep shooting the captain. So we're going to try and stay with them. shooting them. Oh. They did turn. They turned. Alright, how are we doing with Aemo? Is, is he, has he got anything nearby? Any wags nearby? No. There's that group of 30. And then we got... The raiders, which are a bit spread out. Okay, so we want to... There's a the raiders as well. And the slayers. Okay. So I think what I want to do... I still want to focus on the enemy wargs for the moment. So maybe we'll start trying to bring Aemir over in this direction to assist the horse archers. They still have 60-something wargs left. My 
horse archers are getting a little bit tired. Here comes that other wag unit as well. Okay, we are going to... I was hoping to maybe wipe out all of the wags with just the archers, but I think we are going to end up doing some melee with them. 28 and 16. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Okay. Let's pray it remains as such. And horse archers get up here. Okay. So those wags are now coming towards Airmer. Group two. Let's get the scouts to go. We now have a countdown clock in the timer, by the way. So we didn't have that with the original Divide and Conquer, but we do now. So that's good. Right, you're staying out the way. So we got the enemy down to 27% casualties. There's one wag. There's the other. Okay. I'm gonna try and wipe out this infantry unit here. Our men have taken control of the city. Uh, horse archers, get up there. Try and neutralize this Slayer unit. Bosh. And they are broken. Okay. Well, that's up to 47. We didn't lose a single person in that charge. It was brilliant. Okay, what have we got over here? We got the Wargs. They're heading back to the town centre. Let's get our scouts out of there. Tell them to leave now. These riders can go over here. These riders, let's see, what have we got over this side? Well, horse archers, I think I'm going to need to get you to come down the hillside now. So let's head over here. Stay close to the map edge, actually. Orc Raiders, they're a bit spread out. Our men no longer command I'll the city. See if I can do something. Those wags are heading to the town said I'm hoping maybe they'll pop out and we can do something with AMR and these row home. His bodyguard can replenish, obviously. You didn't really charge, but it's fine. Hermes just charged in. Hermes does have a special ability. So let's just have a look at it. For death and glory, 60 seconds, one use, 100% own army combat effectiveness, locks down army morale, Negative 1,000 own army fatigue and plus 3 own army troop morale minus enemy troop morale as well. So not a bad little one, but he only gets to use it once. The battle is very much in our favour. All right, Victory that's that wild wiped ours. out. <laughs> Why aren't you guys running? There's that wild captain. Some raiders there. I think we've lost one man so far. Right, in which case, scouts, you can pop back into the town centre again. You're, there's no threat for you anymore. And, 
you guys. I'm going to try and get you to intercept the enemy captain. Well, actually, no. It's probably going to be Aema that intercepts them. So let's go that way. Captain... Is that... Right. Aema, charge this way. You lads, keep moving. Our men are in command of the city! Damn it. Beeline it straight into the captain. Here he goes. Bish bash bosh. Surround and slay. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, as the enemy general flees like the coward the captain. he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Charge there. Charge there. Still only lost one man. Now for wrath. Now for ruin. That's quite cool. And here comes some ripples. Oh, we lost another man. Here we go. Caught ya. So we've lost two men. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They've lost more than half, mate. They're down to 76%. Alright. Airmen charge the group. Alright, so it's literally just this one orc group left. Turn. Bosh! Look at that, straight into the line. The enemy army flees the field. Yeah, run them all Pursue down. and run them down. Yep, we've lost two men this entire fight. So dividing my forces on the campaign map the way I did it actually worked out really well. I could just focus most of my attention on my horse archers, which was brilliant. And I just had to tell Aemir and his uh, melee cavalry to just run around the settlement, which was good. Fast forward. That last orc. This is a clear there we go. victory. Well done, all involved. Well done indeed. So two lost. Neither of them were healed, unfortunately, but that's not a problem. Rohirrim two forty-five with one eighty-two prisoners, nineteen with seventy-five, eighty-three for fifty-eight for uh, AMM. And then my Rohirrim archers, 81, 89, and 78. And don't forget, they were primarily focused on the Wag, so that's quite a good result. So, excellent work. Victory in your name, my lord. And there we have it. Conquered, Rockburg has fallen. Okay, oh, there's no point doing anything else but occupy. Woohoo, my money is dropping. I'll take an extra general. Ooh, even more money. Right, you are going to head in this direction without crossing into yes. Isengard's territory. Let's not aggravate them any more than we already do just by existing. Um, let's get this spy over here. I shall continue. Diplomat, you're going to head north. Tomorrow's journey. yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Keep that on low tax rate. Yes, Amen. my lord. Next target is Tirith Anduin. Watching your orders, my lord. Yes. As you come we, we shall prevail. So we're just going to do a bulk yes. attack this time because it's it's orc fighters and like goblin type units, so that that'll be fine. We'll just leave our peasant scouts behind in Rockburg. Okay. Uh, what else? To do, if anything, I don't think there is. Oh yeah, move you actually. Yes. I've got a few generals that are not in free upkeep, which is a shame. My lord. I could put him. We're well positioned to launch. Fifty. I could put him over here in uh, in this fort for some free upkeep. Yes. There we are. I could put some militia. Yes, my lord. 
How much is a militia unit? 180. Compared to Lord, you, which is... There is no glory 270. It's a few extra pennies. Yes, my lord. And that's two upkeep generals. Two free upkeep generals. Lord, I could get Theodred over here. That's three. Just trying to find any way to save some money. And I'm basically reducing my generals and stuff on the towns, which means the income drops, but the income doesn't appear to be dropping as much as their upkeep is. So let's hope that this is going to save me a few pennies. Negative 510. That buys me an extra turn. Buys me an extra turn. Okay. That's what I would need. A meeting hall. Um, can't really... Oh, unless... Is there a building in Rockburg? Nope, there's nothing in Rockburg. <laughs> okay, never mind. No missions... That's all I can do, really. Let's go turn three. money am I saving if at all we'll find out soon enough but we have another battle to deal with here so we are probably going to lose a few more men on this occasion to be fair compared to the first one probably definitely a lot more than two so two Merkwood hunters we've got some stalkers uh, Merkwood goblins and some fighters okay wait who's the captain up oh, the school the stalkers are the captain okay good attack Okay, so. Let's grab our horse archers. Let's bring them over here. Uh, well, actually, no, not that close because of the towers. How about about here? That'll do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split our infantry, uh, infantry, our melee cavalry up a little bit. Try and divide the enemy forces as well as they approach out of the town. Not too close to the towers here. Doesn't look like we are. Okay, here we go. Target the stalkers. Still got a lot of walks to get out of the town so far, but 2%. There we are. There we go. Now it's nice and organised. <laughs> cool. I like it that they're bolted together, that makes the uh, effectiveness of my arrows even better. And all we've done is sit here. Because <laughs> the enemy's still waiting for all of these orcs and goblins to get out, and they're taking their time. I'm not going to complain. Come on!
Oh, are they finally dividing themselves a little bit here? <clears throat> They've lost 14% now so far. Let's target some of these melee troops a bit now. Goodness me. Still got a few orcs to come out yet. Oh, are they moving yet? Oh, yep, they are. Run. Hunters. Charge there. Charge there. Oh, actually, you go against the orc fighters. Actually, no, don't go against the orc fighters. Turn around. Just keep them distracted. Keep them distracted away from the enemy light units whilst I run them down with air there. Good show. No good goblins over here. Okay, now let's do a pincer maneuver against these orc fighters. Keeping those orc fighters distracted over there too. Down. Cause them to stall a little bit. Yep. Excellent. Come back away. Broke them. Excellent. Well done. Oh, hello. Stay out of the way. I think I lost a couple of riders there. Right. Archers. You can fire those at those stalkers there. Archers, let's back you off a bit more. Oh, no, no, no. You're being chased by some randoms. Let's bring this uh, cavalry over this way. I'm going to get them to probably run down those stalkers. Nice, run them down. I can get my horse archers to charge Only as well, why not? Enemy force remains. Da, 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 For the moment, the fortune of battle nice. goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Oh, my horse archers did not like that charge. Oh, yeah, my horse archers did not like that charge at all. That should break the Merkle Goblins. Yep, broke them. Yes, enemy captain. Nice. Him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yeah, six percent lost apparently. my guys recover anyway why 
Why are you running them down? Oh, okay. Well, you don't want to run them down, fine. Let's get you back this way, then. Plow straight into those orcs there. Pincer maneuver. Excellent work. Oh, well, the stalkers don't route. Oh, no, they do. There we go. They've routed. <laughs> if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Excellent. 7% for 96. That's not terrible. Could have been better, but... Never mind, I didn't think that my horse archers would uh, have that much of a difficult time against the, those goblins in a charge, but apparently a few of them did. Wait, hold on. There's still a couple of stalkers. Guys, down, please. Shot out by the towers. Oh, they're having a bit of a hard time. Well, archers, get forward. them. So it's just a case of letting them keep constantly running out and then me shooting them again. And bang. The enemy army flees the field. The enemy are utterly 26. vanquished. Yeah, this is a okay. great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. 26 is not too bad. Five people recovered. Yeah. That's not too bad at all. Well, that is Tirith Anduin now under our control. We have triumphed! Milord, there we go. Our courage and honour have conquered. Excellent. That is the Wald. I think that's the Wald. This is the Wald, isn't it? Rockberg and Tirith Anduin? I think it is. So the world has now been controlled by the Rohirrim. Another? Negative 127. How come my money's gone up? Look at that. Look at how many traits he has. He's 59 years old as well. I mean, yeah, why not? Where are you? Ah, oh, you're in Edoras. So my money's gone up quite a bit with the free upkeep generals moved over there. That's nice. Yes, you get free lord. upkeep anyway. Your orders, my lord. I could, like, for ten turns, get Theoden in there, I suppose. A prime position to launch a cowardly ambush mm. if need be. Yes, Maybe my not. Lord. My income does not look so good in Edoras, but that's fine. Your uh, orders, you are free lord. upkeep, so maybe I can move you to one of the... Do you get orders. free upkeep when garrisoned? I don't think you do. Okay. Hornberg has Mason's Hall. Excellent. It has taken a little bit of a percentage off of the total cost for the mines. Not a huge amount, but a, a little bit. Right, to get free upkeep for you, you need 1900. My lord. You are going to come over this way. You're going to deploy some watchtowers, but you're also By going to be command. governing Erecting Tirith Anduin for us, I believe. As you wish. By My lord. 
Right, spy. Let's just see if the elves. Yep, the elves have taken My Lord. Edric Khan. Approaching your orders. As you wish. My Excellent. Lord. Right, let's see. Farmland 102 to 205. Okay, we'll invest money in that. Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. Mm -hmm. Your orders, my lord. Orders, as you wish. That yes, keeps the people lord. happy for the moment. So next turn, orders. he'll move across to Tirith Anduin. Your orders, AML, my lord. let's just get you deploying some watchtowers as well. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Yes. As you work your way. This tower this will keep vigil over the lands. Okay, not bad, not bad. All of my towns have walls on them. None of them are um, like villages or anything. My lord, approaching quietly. And the other benefit as yes, well is that Your orders, my lord. these two yes, cavalry generals and this cavalry unit will, can all head over to Foldberg to support. So I'm actually going to put... These guys together. Your I'm going to put you in on a drift. Because you're free upkeep anyway. I'm going to put yes, Thedin back lord. into Edoras yes. next turn, I think. Oh, he can go in there already. Yeah, I'll just leave him in there. Alright, turn four. So if the Dunland clans attack Foldberg, or if Foldberg just gets attacked in general, we can get those we can get Theodrid. Um, our other cavalry general, whatever his name was, and then the extra Rohirrim cavalry unit to head over to Falberg to support. I don't know what that noise was. Someone died somewhere, and as we can see, Dunland have attacked. Okay. Well, that's fine, because we can do a little sally at Foldberg. We can bring in those reinforcements as a second we skirmish. A so we'll we sally out, do some damage, bring those extra cavalry units in to help. And we'll see if that does anything. So we're on 510, 318. Okay. Send an emissary to Lothlorien. We'll gain some money. That's fine. That's My what Lord. we're planning to do. What is it you wish to discuss? Alliance and trade rights. How could we refuse? I have another worthy proposal then. Excellent. Uh, no, we cannot agree to this now. Military access Excellent. for both sides. We yep, are that'll do. And a pleasure. Farewell. Excellent. Extra nine hundred gold. Yes, and now you Lord. can start heading. Yes. Oh, you can't head north. Damn it! Because you're being blocked. All right, Without head that way. Question. I shall continue tomorrow. My, and my spy here can go back this way. Is that what you want? Il Cruel has a, a large number of troops in his command. My lord, as you wish. Erecting a watchtower. My lord, by your command. Head over there, your orders, AMA, my lord. You can head over this way as well. Let's bring you sort of around Onadrith area. Yes. There is no glory in yeah, hiding. That gives you a nice world. little, Ordered. a nice vantage point to attack from any direction. That's good. Agent detected. <laughs> Dominion of Isengard. Ah, it was an Onodrith. It got killed in Onodrith. Good. Edoras, Oldberg, and Foldberg all have buildings constructed. Edoras and Oldberg have got the trade. So I could recruit some more units. I suppose I could recruit cavalry. There'll be free upkeep. Hmm. Harass. You could get an extra cav unit too. I might go for a mason's hall actually instead. Holberg, you can't build or recruit anything. That's fine. Alliance announced with the Anduin Vale. Dwarves of Kazadum. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to get Dunhir, Theodrid, and their Rohirrim units up to Foldberg. Their, gar their bodyguards have increased in size. That's good. But we're going to do a sally out at Foldberg. 
We're going to do some damage to Captain Gormal of the Dunland Clans before we bring in our reinforcements. How Time much get me, do they have? Coward. Four units of marchers, two units of wielders, one of war spear throng, and one rider. Okay. And we have three archers and a cav unit. Okay, so we could do quite a lot of damage here. But I think I will probably do that in the next episode. I think this is a nice little introduction to the faction. I think I've given myself a decent start. My economy is not completely in tatters. <laughs> it's not thriving yet, but we are... It's, it's not in tatters at the moment. So I think, I think we're going to be in an okay position to start with. We'll see how things go. I'm desperately trying to make that mission My Lord. for... Uh, what is your name anyway? Fulgrim to get north to Anduin. Dale and Erebor and Mirkwood. But definitely Erebor. That's my target. Can I recruit more than one diplomat? Have I got the space? I have. I might recruit another one and get him to head in this direction, actually. And work his way towards Ered Lewin. So that if Erebor decide to say no to an alliance, at least we might be able to get something with Ered Lewin. So. Right, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching today's first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any tips, suggestions, or if you want any, uh, if you want me to rename any provinces, like anything like that, for example, then please do put your comments and suggestions below. And apart from that, I will see you all in the next video.